Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cypher, and today we're doing a patch update video. Uh, but I'm just kidding because yesterday's patch did not bring anything new to the game. There's a llama right there. Look at that. I really hope that guy didn't see it because I want that llama. I, no, he's not even letting him go. He's, he's, he's going away. All right, good, good, good. A few weeks ago, Worldwide Creative Director Donald Mustard tweeted out something. And I didn't really talk about it in a video, but I think it's a, it's a really good time to bring it up, especially with how things are going in terms of Fortnite updates. I often think of dramatic pacing like audio volume. With some stories, you work to slowly crank 90s, no, I'm crank it as loud as possible so that when you reach it back or ratchet it back to zero, you feel the full impact of both extremes. Then when the new volume feels like normal, you start to dial it up again. And that like perfectly explains the pacing that Fortnite has has had, right? We had Fortnite season one, chapter one, very much slow paced, very fresh, new, not, not a lot going on, very simple. And over the seasons, Epic kept adding things and adding things and adding things until we went to season X. And season X had so much. It had so many things. The game was completely different, man. And then boom, they reset to zero, which was chapter two, season one. And then once chapter two, season one starts feeling like the normal again, which it, it you know, chapter two, season one lasted so long. It obviously started feeling like the normal. I didn't even know there was a big chest here. Holy crap. Um, give me something spicy. That will do. Problem is he has a shotgun and I don't. It's a good, it's a good peak shot. It's a good peak shot. He's obviously a decent player. I gotta hit my shots. He can't have that many mats, to be honest with you. Yeah. Let's say he can't have that many. Um. So the new norm was chapter two, season one. Everything reset. Everything is back to very basic. And now they're slowly cranking the dial up. They're slowly increasing the volume, you know, chapter two, season two. And, and it seems like the updates are coming back, but they're at a much slower pace. And even the updates themselves are pretty simple because the helicopters came out and everybody, right? Like, to be honest with you, no one really cares about the helicopters that much. Like, they're not that game-changing. It's just another source of mobility. They're very dangerous to be in. You can't glide out of them. Um, they don't have rockets or anything. And you know, and you know, like, you can appreciate the fact that the rock, the, the helicopters weren't overpowered, like the planes were. But they didn't really change the game, right? And I think that's what they're going for. They're trying to slowly, gradually change the game back up to the insanity that Fortnite was between season five and season X. So it's gonna take it's gonna take a bit before we start, I feel like, seeing some of that stuff happen. But the 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 problem I feel like that we're facing is that in chapter one, Fortnite was the biggest game in the world. It still is one of the biggest games in the world, but there really wasn't a lot of competition with Fortnite. There really wasn't a lot of competition. So they could work at whatever pace they wanted to work at. It's not a problem. But right now, it feels like there's a lot of good games coming out. We have Call of Duty Warzone, which is still dominating, in my opinion. It's doing so well. And Fortnite, if like they go with the slow pacing that they kind of want to go in the beginning of this chapter, they could potentially fall behind and lose the interest of players. Um, so I'm still liking the game. I'm still loving it. But you know, I find myself playing Warzone a lot more um, when I get the chance, just because it's like a fresh exciting new game so we'll have to see man but like if they if they keep like a slow pace approach it could it could be like bad for fortnite it could be just depends on on how slow they go and how the other games maintain their updates because one of the biggest problems like i said in the past there's a, a lot of games that come out that are really good they they come out they're really good who's shooting me but then they don't uh, they don't update the game enough. Like Apex Legends, 
they took a very 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 long time before they updated their game um and as a result a lot of people you know stopped playing apex like the first week they had a lot of people first month was like 50 million players and then they eventually they eventually stopped playing because there just wasn't enough updates happening in the game so Will, will Warzone be able to maintain the level of updates people are really looking for? I don't know. We'll have to see. Why was you... This guy naded himself. This other guy is spraying. And he's coming in with... C4. I saw that coming. I just didn't think he was going to peek considering how weak he was, but he did. So like other games they come out, Call of Duty Warzone has a lot of people playing it right now, but will they be able to maintain it? They they kind of, Fortnite does a really good job of like updating the game better than other games, quicker than other games. And, and just like, they keep the game fresh. But right now I feel like we're not really seeing that like we used to. They're, they're going for a slower approach. This is their plan, obviously. Uh, based off of that tweet, we can conclude that this is this is most likely their plan. They're going for a slower approach, slowly, gradually building the game back up to once it once what to what it once was. Um, but does does that necessarily work the second time around? Because you know we've already experienced like how crazy Fortnite can be. We've already experienced that, and 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 now, bro, people are going crazy with these nades. And now to like bring it back to a slow pace, it it might not work the second time. People might want like a faster turnaround on some of these updates. I personally wish that they would they would pick up the pace a little bit. I personally wish they would pick up the pace a little bit, to be honest with you. Um but that's just my opinion. Let me know like in the comments what you guys think. I kind of have to kill this guy, man. There we go. So yeah, things have been really crazy, man. And then, and then now we we also have the situation with uh, like two pro teams who were colluding in a pro tournament. I, I talked about this in detail on the second channel. Um, but just like long story short, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a couple pro teams who were like, you know, splitting a drop together and. Uh, avoiding each other and then also like intentionally allowing each other to damage each other to avoid storm surge storm surge is a mechanic uh, that uh, slowly kills people who uh, don't have enough damage done it's a way to kind of reduce the amount of players that are in a match um, and reduce the lag so it's kind of like a band-aid fix to, to a problem you know the Fortnite has which is like it, it in a pro game people stay alive very long because of building and they avoid fights because it's a smart thing to do. And there's too many players sometimes, so Storm Surge kills them off. So these players were like intentionally damaging each other with Storm Surge. I mean, they're intentionally damaging each other to avoid Storm Surge. And both those teams happen to get first and second place. Um, now, the, the reality is that both those teams are actually really good teams. So they could have gone first and second without doing what they did, but it certainly helped. It certainly helped, and they got punished. They got banned for 60 days from competitive Fortnite. They can't play arena. They really can't practice scrims because scrims are on arena, uh, and they're banned from competitive Fortnite tournaments for 60 days. So that's this entire FNCS, 
and potentially a little bit of the next one. Um, and that's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's a, that's a big punishment. But some people think that is a little too much. Um, but then you look at, you know, what happened with FaZe Jarvis. And I know what he did was a little different because he downloaded an aimbot. Um, you know, and he was playing it in a pub, not in a tournament. But he was, like, showing what aimbot is like. Um, which was really dumb. Like, like I already talked about the FaZe Jarvis situation a lot. Um, I really wish he had not, he had not done that. Um, I understand why Epic permanently banned him, but I hope that, you know, maybe after a year or something, uh, eventually they, like, they look at his case and, and consider, you know, consider giving him an unban. But we look at that and we look at the situation with these pros. They got banned for 60 days for, for colluding. Um, and all you can compare it to really is, uh, Ziff and Ronaldo from the World Cup. They got banned for two weeks for, t for, uh, intentionally feeding. Um, and everyone thought those two weeks was not good enough. Like, the ban should have been longer. Um, and so now Epic banned for 60 days. Uh, some people are saying, oh, Epic's not consistent. You know, they banned for two weeks for this, and then they only banned... I mean, they banned two weeks for feeding the World Cup, which is a huge tournament, and then they only... And then they banned these guys for 60 days. I don't think that's them being not consistent. I think that's them realizing their mistake. Because it very much was a mistake. What they did was to allow that duo team that you know cheated in the world cup to get unbanned and then come back and qualify for the world cup and then go and play on the big stage that was a big mistake and they realized that that was a mistake they, they know that was a mistake so they don't want that to repeat so this, in this situation oh my god this guy's i know i don't know about this guy actually Chad. i hope he has a launch pad because if he's just gonna sit above me like this it's not it's not a good look for either of us. Oh, I thought there was a floor there. Gotcha. So, I think Epic kind of learned, and, and now they're like really bringing down the hammer, and uh, they're banning these guys for 60 days, and that's a pretty big punishment. Honestly, I feel like like people are going to be less uh, inclined to cheat as a result, but even the 60 days, some people are saying, oh, it's too much, and then you think, if you compare that to uh, other esports, uh, any sort of cheating in most esports will result in a permanent ban for life we've seen this happen in csgo with the i buy power team um we've seen one year plus bans for like just misconduct or anything like that so like in my opinion like if you compare fortnite esports punishments to other esports fortnite esports is very very lenient <laughs> super lenient compared to other esports so those 60 days, like they, like those two, those players, those two teams should see that as, as if anything, as a blessing, because that could have easily, like if Fortnite was like other esports, that could have been a permanent ban. That could have been a lifetime ban, like what Jarvis got from competitive. They probably wouldn't ban them from playing the game, but they probably banned them from competitive for, for life. And that very easily could have happened. Um, so. I think people need to... And kind of learn from the situation. And uh, just, just understand... <laughs> Cheating's not good, and uh, it doesn't pay off in the long run. But it, 60 days is, is not a long time. I think these guys will bounce back after 60 days, and they will uh, they will like they will recover from this. Like they will, because trust me, other other esports would have would have like the, in the, with the situation with how it was, how it went down. Other esports would have banned them for life. Or at least for a year plus. And like that's not even a joke. Like that's what would have happened.
I heard you like C4. I knew he was going to do that. Oh, how the tables have turned. <laughs> this guy was yeeting those C4. And he dropped it here to pick up like a heavy sniper or a rocket. And then just use his own C4 against him. Oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. YouTube. I know I don't really uh, directly uh, address you guys that much, but you know, some people really only watch the YouTube channel. They don't really watch the live streams and that's okay. You know, not everybody has time for the live streams. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well out there. I know it's, it's really crazy right now with, I hope you guys are staying healthy. Um, I hope you guys are staying healthy. I hope you guys. are staying indoors as much as you can staying home washing your hands uh just like taking care of yourself and, and your well-being um there's a lot going on people are losing their jobs people can't work it's it's a tough time for a lot of people um and uh one thing i will say is that i'm i'm gonna be trying to give back to the community a little bit more especially in the next couple months and just like even this month as well so it's gonna be mainly be on the discord and you know on the uh on the twitch stream but even if even if you're a youtube watcher you can still you know look out for some of those some of those giveaways and whatnot that we're going to try to give back just to try to help people out who really need it um but yeah guys just feel like i need to address the youtube audience a little bit because i'm always talking to the twitch stream every single day but i'm not really talking to the youtube every single day like you know you guys watch the videos but it's a little different you know I went for it, chat. Respect. One guy left. I believe he was down there. You down there? Should go for a no scope? Might have to, bro. Excuse me, sir. Show yourself. Oh, where is he? He's probably behind a tree, bro. Oh, you guys. One guy remains. That's it. Just one. There he is. He shows himself finally. Trying to go for it. 
Going for the no scope. Oh! Swoop right under him. Let's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and uh, subscribe for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.